the gospel reading reminds us once again that God gave us so many gifts, so many talents. And the most fundamental talent that we receive from Him is love. In the first reading, it was already given to us, explained to us by Paul in his letter to the Thessalonians, that we have to live this, exercise love for the sake of the other, not love for our own sake, that is selfishness. The problem probably lies in the fact that we haven't discovered this talent deep-seatedly given to us because we are always looking for that outside of ourselves. When we do that, we will go in our lifetime always searching outside of ourselves. Like the young Augustine, whose feast we celebrate today, he was always looking for that outside of himself. Then because of the so many prayers and tears of Monica, her mother, whose feast we celebrated yesterday, he was able to change his perspective and found love. He even said in his book, The Confession, he said, Late have I loved you, beauty so ancient and so new. Late have I loved you. Although he was late, in his con being converted towards God, nonetheless, because of that reality that he was possessed by the love of God, he produced so many things. He wrote so many things. The church is rich because of that. In his confession, he said, You were with me, but I was not with you. They held me back from far from you. Those things which would have not been, were they not in you? He was always distracted during his early years by so many things apparently beautiful. But because of his conversion, he was able to discover his own talent and produce more for the sake of the church. When we search for love outside of ourselves, and not discover the giftedness that we are because we are loved by God, then we will always be scattering, not creating something to produce, to, 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 to project, and to reflect the glory of God. Augustine talks about that, that light. So, to honor Augustine, and to show that we have that talent, that we have discovered and not, uh, the, not, uh, not hiding it underground, we have to exercise that talent, the fundamental talent given to us. The example would be St. Therese of the child Jesus. She did, she loved all the small things that she was doing. In our lifetime, like, like Augustine, when we are converted even though we are late in our lives, if we practice that talent of love and share that with others, we will always reflect God's glory because it comes from deep within ourselves where we see we fundamentally God dwelling in us and the expression of that is love sacrifice for the sake of the kingdom of God. How many of us can do that? How many of us right now can really see that fundamental talent that we have and express that through service, through compassion, through empathy, through charity. Let us once again with Augustine reflect and find that deep-seated talent of love deep within ourselves and express that to others.